Hello and welcome to the What's New 2018 for SolidWorks with me, Ed Hawkins, and my colleague, Alex Aprigliano. Over the next few hours, we're going to take you through the updates in 2018. And a lot of those are centered around this trackaway motorhome that you see on screen here. So we're going to take a deeper look inside. And the first section we're going to cover is essential design tools. And Alex is going to take us through user experience now. Let's take a look at user experience inside SOLIDWORKS 2018. On opening SOLIDWORKS, we're now presented with a welcome screen. From this screen, we can create new parts, assemblies and drawings. We can open existing files. We have access to our recent documents and recent folders. And we have links to useful resources like the What's New, My SOLIDWORKS and the SOLIDWORKS Forum. Moving on to the Recent tab, we have a more comprehensive list of recent documents and folders. Switching to the Learn tab, we have tutorials and what's new samples available to us from here, as well as links to online tutorials and certification. And then finally, we have an Alerts tab, which just shows us the published alerts from SOLIDWORKS. Let's open up a file from here. On opening a file, we're now presented with this Assembly Progress Open Indicator dialog. This tells us exactly what SOLIDWORKS is doing when it's opening the files. So it's opening the reference documents, updating the assembly, and then updating the graphics. It also gives us the last open time for that file. If the file takes longer than 60 seconds to open, the dialog will stay on the screen, giving a link to performance evaluation. I'll launch that manually here. Performance evaluation is a useful tool inside SOLIDWORKS. It gives us lots of great information about our assembly, such as the open times of the components inside the assembly, as well as a full breakdown of what's in the assembly. New to this release, we have a new area called display performance. This gives us information about how many graphics triangles a particular file has, as well as what the image quality in those files is set to. So here I have a lot of parts that have a very high image quality set in the document properties, which I may want to address as it's given me no real benefit. I can just show these files at the click of a button. We have a link to assembly visualization now from the performance evaluation tool, which will automatically sort the uh, assembly by the amount of graphics triangles. We can start to adjust the colors and sliders within uh, assembly visualization. So anything red here has a high amount of graphics triangles. Let's just zoom in on one of the components. So perhaps this USB outlet has too much detail for this particular assembly. I'm just going to select it and modify the configuration to the low detail variant. We now have a new option to set top level transparency which will allow us to set every component in our assembly transparent at the click of a button. Folders can be useful when working inside a busy feature manager tree or assembly tree. However, we have no information here about what's going on inside those folders in terms of whether components are hidden or suppressed. We have to actually go into the folder to have a look at what's going on. We now have a new color coding system for these folders available to us. So here what I'm going to do is hide away this bulkhead and you'll see the folder changes color from blue to blue and white. The white indicating that there are hidden components within this folder. Going into the shower folder, I'm just gonna go ahead and suppress a component. You'll see the folder color changes from blue to blue and gray. The gray indicating there are suppressed components inside this folder. Finally, I'll go in here and just hide one of the components away. You'll see now the folder is split into three separate colors, blue for resolve components, gray for suppressed components, and white for hidden components. Mouse gestures have been improved within this release. We can now set two gestures in the vertical or horizontal, three gestures, or up to 12 gestures. Also, when customizing these interfaces, we can now drag from one interface to the other with our tools, making it that little bit easier to customize. 
There is a new select tool available to us called Select Over Geometry. Now, I use Windows Select quite a lot, but it can be a little frustrating sometimes when you've got quite a busy assembly. So for example, if I wanted to window over these three items here, as I begin to create my window, because there is a panel in the background, it automatically selects that panel. So what I would normally do here is zoom out so I can see empty space, and then I would create my window and grab hold of those components. However, sometimes it's a little awkward to do that. So with the new Select Over Geometry tool, regardless of what's going on in the background where your cursor is, it will create that window for you, making it that little bit easier to select those components. The Select Over Geometry tool can be toggled on and off with the T key as well. Okay, so switching back to the PowerPoint, we have a new welcome screen, an assembly open progress indicator dialog box, where we have a link to assembly performance visualization. We can set top level transparency at the click of a button. We have color coded folders for suppressed and hidden components. Mouse gestures have been updated to it allow more or less gestures. And we have a new select tool called Select Over Geometry. Our next video is on sketching. Thank mm -hmm. you.